Hello you guys. Today I was going to make a little bit of a different video. A lot of you have been asking me on Instagram and here on YouTube and on my blog to make videos of my Lush stash, my Lush collection. And I always tell you guys that it would be really hard to do that because I can't even take a picture of my entire collection and fit it in a camera frame. So, so what I'm going to do is just chop it up into like categories of Lush products. So today I'm going to be doing a video of my, just the soap collection that I have. So this is going to be a video of my Lush soap collection only. So I guess this can be called Lush collection part one, the soaps. <laughs> But I also wanted it to be a relaxing video. I know a lot of you say you like uh, the more relaxing videos. And so I'm going to do a Lush collection and I hope that it's somewhat relaxing. And this is gonna be a long video because I have a lot of soaps to go through. So this is something you should buckle in and maybe save for Saturday night or Sunday night when you're taking a bath or something like that. And so now I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll take a look. Okay, so here are my two containers of Lush soap. And this package of Lush soaps are only soaps from the Lush kitchen uh, made this year. And this thing of soaps is um, all of the other soaps. For instance, I have limited edition holiday soaps in here, um, sort of rare Oxford Street soaps in here, um, soaps that are in the stores right now, regular soaps I have in here, um, collector's items and such. So I think what we'll do first of all is, um, gosh, well, let's go ahead and look at this container of soap first. Okay, so the first soap I'm going to show you is, is a soap called Somewhere Over the Rainbow Soap. And this one was sold for Easter 2014 and also for Easter 2015. So I'm going to unwrap it first. Now, when this soap was being sold during Easter um, in the Lush stores, Lush had a big giant soap from which they would cut off customers' pieces. And the big giant soap in the store was a giant round rainbow. And this is one of my favorite smelling soaps because it has such a light, pretty fresh floral fragrance. It's got rose as well as neroli. So I always love a rose and citrus scent and this is quite beautiful. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people felt that this, the scent was too weak. Um, but I liked the scent quite a lot. I didn't think it was really too weak, but it was just a different scent from some of the other Lush soap scents. And you can tell that it's one of my favorite soaps because I bought a huge, like two kilo piece of it. I had a huge pink, yellow, and orange piece and then I had this blue and green piece and I've used the pink and the yellow and the orange so I still have the blue and green piece and that's so good. Lush Oxford Street made a really rare uh, exclusive limited edition for last year's uh, 2015 or was it 2016, Mother's Day, that was also called Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it was made in the same scent as the soap. So I bought about 10 of those bath bombs. <laughs> so you could tell the soap has some glitter on it. 
So that's somewhere over the rainbow soap from Lush. And so, yeah, <laughs> after I pay my bills, that's what I spend my free money on is Lush. So this one is from Lush Oxford Street, and it's called Sticky Banana Soap. You can see those black banana seeds. And it's a creamy, luxurious, very moisturizing soap. And it's got honey in there. I don't know if you can see. And it's got mushed up bananas mixed in with the honey. And it's very moisturizing and creamy soap. It doesn't smell like, you know, fake bananas, but it smells like real bananas. So it's not overly sweet like, say, banana runts are that candy. So, <laughs> so I like that. And this is only available at Lush Oxford Street in London. The next soap is the Carrot Soap. And Lush sold this, Lush sells this every Easter. It has a little bunny rabbit on it. And this is, has a lovely fruity fragrance. It's got Bushu oil, which is a fruity, it's almost a perfumey kind of fruity scent, but in a really nice sort of tropical way. Very nice, very popular. Here's a piece of sea salted caramel soap that is available at Lush Oxford Street in England, and also I believe it's on the Lush UK website for sale. It smells like, sort of like a coffee or like a burnt caramel smell. And here is a piece of soap that is called orange jelly soap. And it's very, 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 very orangey. It smells like if there was such a thing, it smells like orange jam. Like if someone made a jam out of oranges, this is what it would smell like. And then the next soap is Hippie Soap. And uh, has a little design thing in there. I have a, a video, a separate video of Hippie Soap, if you'd like to see that. And it's made with sunflower seeds and patchouli and such. And the next soap is ginger soap. And it, uh, it's a beautiful soap. It's pink. It's got pink satin ribbons and it's got uh, roses that are made out of soap that are all over the soap. And this is made in the ginger fragrance. It's a very, very strong and bitter, spicy ginger scent. And here is a piece of Lush Bertie soap. B-E-R-T-I-E. And that the whole soap of Birdie is very, very colorful. So, so this is a yellow and black and green piece from that large multicolored soap. This is, has a licorice scent. Mm. This has the same scent as the lush Christmas bubble bar called Bar Humbug. <laughs> Here is a Thanks Dad Father's Day soap from 2016, earlier this year. And it's a very lovely orangey tangerine and grapefruit kind of scent. It's really nice and brightening and cheery and orangey. That's Thanks Dad soap. It's supposed to look like a little child's um, letter block. And here's another one without the wrapper. So it's got a D, it's got an A, another D up here. So that's what it looks like. Isn't it cool? And 
let's see. Here is a soap called I Should Cocoa, and it's got coconut on the top. It's got some pink, some dyed pink bits of coconut and regular pieces of coconut, and it smells like coconut, and it, it's exfoliating because it has that one layer on the top of it. And here's a soap that they sell in Lush stores now called Maypole Soap. Maypole, M-A-Y-P-O-L-E. So that sounds like a maypole, but this also has maple syrup in it and mint. So maypole has, it has two different meanings. And this uh, green part, there are little tiny pieces of cut up minty soap in there and it's got the maple syrup. So it's got little kind of pieces of soap in there. And they're sold in really long cylindrical poles because it is called May Pole. <laughs> so that was cut off on the cut off of it. It's a gorgeous, sweet. It's not too sweet. It smells like real maple syrup, not too strong, and mint. And it's not too sweet, and it's not too strong, but it's not too weak. And somehow, it just works. It's a popular soap. I like it. Here's another Thanks Dad soap. Here is Mechanic soap from Lush UK. It's a pumice soap and uh, it smells, it's got clove and such in it. Very nice. Here is a soap called Magnificent Soap and it's made with mangoes. It's one of my favorite soaps. Just like, it smells just like mangoes. It's so, so gorgeous. Here's another piece of the Birdie soap off of the, uh, this one came in the gift set box. That's why the, the shape is like this. It looks like those licorice all sorts candies. Love it. So, so that's these two from the same soap. And let's see, then I have, I have two Gay is Okay soaps from Lush made in the Love Scent and they're gold bars. It's hard to see because I wrapped them up so much, but they're very gold. <laughs> and they have a nice apples and cinnamon scent. And here is a piece of Cupid's Love soap from Valentine's 2016. It's got pomegranates and geranium. It smells very fruity. This is not one of my favorite soaps. I like the look of it. It's so cute, but I don't like the smell. So. I'll be doing something with this one. And, <laughs> and then we have a piece of snow cake soap for Christmas. I got the part with the little designs on it. And this is gold. And that was from last year. Here is a piece of, a large piece of Sunny Citrus Soap from Lush. You can tell it's got the outline of this big sun in the middle. And uh, it's a gorgeous light citrus scent. This is a retro item. Being that I like orangey, that's why you can see I have uh, more than one orangey kind of soap. It's really bright and nice. This one is a soap called Gratuitous Violets, and it's a kind of a lilac, 
purple colored soap and it smells of lovely violets. It's the same fragrance as the Lush May Worry Pa bath bomb. Sweet violets. And and then here is a Lush Golden Moon Soap, which is actually, the soap is called Angel's Delight. And these gold soaps uh, were actually, um, there were gold moons like this inserted into that big giant Angel's Delight soap along with stars and such. So these are the just the gold moon parts. The soap is gold and it has sparkly shimmer all over it. And here is a piece of candy cane soap. And it smells minty, like a candy cane. Here's a piece of Lush Summer Pudding soap. Here is a piece of Lush Serendipity soap that they sell in the stores now. And it has a lavender scent. It's not quite the same scent as Twilight lavender scent. Uh, Twilight's more sweet and creamy. This is more bright and herby, but it's lovely. It's got a nice, lovely scent of lavender. Yum, and it's really pretty. It's purple on the inside and kind of a dark red purple on the outside. And it comes in giant giant poles in the shops. And here is a baked Alaska soap. It's a Christmas soap. It smells grapefruity. Here is a piece of Zen soap. Z-E-N. Zen. It's got brown and gold swirls through it. And it's got a nice earthy and incensey kind of sexy smell. So that's Zen. And this is only sold in the lush Oxford Street store in London. Here is a lush Milko soap, which I love. It smells like vanilla ice cream. Here is a piece of soap called Spice Curls <laughs> that has cinnamon and clove. It's really yummy and sweet and spicy. Here is a piece of Amanda Pan soap from Lush UK. And it smells grapefruity. Looks like a grapefruit. Here's the soap for Halloween 2016 called Fireside. It smells like, uh, to me it reminds me of Cinder's bath bomb. It's got orange and cinnamon. Here is a piece of Santa's post box. Christmas 2016 soap. It's got neroli and orange and orange flower. Lovely red color. Here is a picture of ginger, ginger soap. This is the ginger soap that smells like the lush classic fragrance called ginger. It's not a gingerbread smell. This soap and this soap have the exact same scent, but they look completely different. Isn't that fun? Here's a piece of lush Lady Katharina soap, which is a Kalaka scented soap that Lush makes. It's purple. And here is a piece of fairy ring soap. And that was sold for Valentine's a couple of years ago. It smells like jasmine 
and it's got the silky underwear scent, which I love. So it's very sort of a smoky floral, lovely, sweet. Here's a piece of Lush Demon in the Dark soap that the Lush Kitchen just recently made. So that should actually be in that other box of the Lush Kitchen soaps, but here is another Sticky Banana soap. This one came from a gift set, so it has an actual, it was made in an actual octagonal mold, kind of. And here is a piece of soap called Big Hugs, and it's a Lush Valentine's 2006 soap. And it's got hearts and it's gorgeous. Here's a olive soap. It's a gourmet soap that they sell only at the Lush Oxford Street store in London, made with lots of luxurious fresh things like olive oil and such. Here is a, a Lush Milky Bar soap in the shape of an actual milk bottle. And this one is from the Lush Oxford Street store in London. They sell a bubble bar in Lush UK that looks just like this too, but this is the actual soap. Here is a giant piece of the Lush Oxford Street Gourmet Soap. Uh, it's a cocoa soap, and it, it's made with real cocoa, and it smells earthy and a little whiff of dark chocolate in there. It's very luxurious. Um, it's got cocoa butter and real cocoa, and it has a dark earthy smell with a whiff of cocoa inside. It's just incredible. So I bought a huge piece right here. That's a gourmet soap. You can find that under my blog under the Oxford Street Exclusives page. Here is another piece of fairy ring soap with jasmine and a lang lang and vetiver. Got a kind of pink on the end. Here is a piece of Sultana of Soap, which they sell in the stores now, and that has sort of a frankincense and blackberry scent. This one, here's a piece of soap called Twas the Night Before Christmas, and this soap is a dark indigo blue with indigo blue sparkles on it, and this is called Twas the Night Before Christmas and it has the Lush Black Pearl scent. Lush made this Twas the Night Before Christmas a few years back. So it says it's got beautiful black currant and lavender scented hand and body soap. And I have two or three pieces. So this is a gorgeous piece of soap. Okay, I'll stop for now. Mosquito Lush Oxford Street Gourmet Soap. Matryoshka Doll So White Soap. This is Miranda Soap. It's one of my favorite soaps. Is a uh, chocks away chocolate soap. It's in the shape of a of a flower, and it's chocolate and mint. This is a soap from Lush's Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful boutique in London in 2004 or five. And on opening day, they were giving these soaps away. So I have that soap. And this one is called, this one's called Wash My Back Yin Yang Soap. And this one is called Sweethearts Soap. I have a couple of them. This is Christmas Cake Soap. 
This is my Larkin Lush Oxford Street Gourmet Soap. Lush Icon Soap. Lush Love Soap. Lush North Pole Soap. Lush Layer Cake Soap. Lily Soap, Lush Japan Temptation Soap, Lush Father Christmas Soap, it's a real pretty indigo blue color, and Lush Cocktail Guest Soap. It's a purple glittery soap with the scent of cocktail. And that's it for this container. It's already about half an hour long. I wasn't able to get these soaps, so I'm going to make another video that I'm going to upload after this one of all the uh, Lush Kitchen soaps here that I have, that I have yet to demo. And so, if you enjoyed this video, please like my video by giving me a thumbs up down there. Let me know how you like this video. Just comment below. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below and I'll try and answer as soon as I can. I hope this was relaxing. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you very soon on my next video.